My wife was a super awesome wife for Christmas. She got me the shelf that goes on my Rectac pellet grill. When I bought it originally, I didn't get the shelf because it cost so much extra money. I wanted to save a little bit and I probably should have bought it to start with. My wife saved the day. She purchased the shelf for me and gave it to me as a Christmas present. I'm gonna unbox it for you and then I'm gonna show you how to install it. Then I'm gonna tell you why I think the shelf is so important, especially for me. It's super awesome to see you. I'm Mike, you're at Delmarva Backyard. And if you haven't been here before, welcome. Hit the subscribe button down below and you can stay in touch with all the awesome videos we're doing with awesome food, beer, home brewing, and product reviews. So let's take a look at this Rectech shelf. So that's the package it came in directly from Rectech. And you get a set of instructions. And if you don't know, the shelf is a shelf that folds up and then folds down and it bolts right to the existing legs. All you have to do is loosen the existing bolts and fasten it on. So let's go out to the Rectech and let's put it on. So our shelf. Goes on here something like that. I don't know exactly where it falls in relation to the handle, but we're gonna find out. Got this bolt, which has a nut and washer on the inside, and there's one on the other side also. I think it's an 11 16 on the inside, and a big Phillips head on the outside. Now there's a nut and a washer on the back side of this, so we gotta be careful not to lose that. Get it started with the socket on the inside. And then we can finish up with the screwdriver on the outside. Those are our parts, and that's what's gonna hold the shelf on. Now I'm sure this would be a lot easier with two people, but I don't have two people here today. So we're gonna make it happen. The easiest way to probably do this is to let it, and it says so in the instructions, is to keep it in the folded position. Because if you, if you put it like this, the weight of the shelf is gonna be working against you. So we're gonna take the bolt, stick it through the hole here, and then I'm gonna slide it through the leg. And then I'm gonna hope to do the same thing on the other side. And let it hold just by doing that. Okay, so it's just literally hanging by the bolts. The bolts aren't attached to anything. The bolts are just going through the leg holes. Trying to be careful not to pop the other side out. All right, I got it started. Now I'm gonna do the other side. Now we're gonna put the tray up. 
get the screwdriver on and tighten it up. Back. And we'll go ahead and tighten it up. Alright. See how it works. A little stiff. You need to slide it out just a hair. So what I'm doing is I'm just loosening the screw up just a hair. And then moving it back and forth. And I'm gonna to try to line it up with the edge of this leg. Okay? And I'll tighten it down nice and tight once I've got it operating the way I want it. And this one's pretty good actually. I think that's it. All right, so it's got a little button right here. Push those in, fold it down. Just pop it right back up. Make sure your buttons are engaged and it locks. And this makes it so nice, because you can put your food, you can put whatever you want, you know, your prep, your food, your tools, whatever, right here. I'm not sure about that. You know, it, it, that's plastic of some kind, and. I'm not sure how that's gonna hold up. Hopefully, we're not gonna have problems with that. It's still here, but you know, my, my towel ring is basically useless because when I fold the tray down, it covers it up. And to get to it, you gotta go down and under the tray. So that kind of stinks. This is my setup when I'm cooking. And because I got the, the outside island here, you may think you know that it's not a big deal you just you know you have all the space over here that you can use but in reality especially when i'm doing videos most of the action and most of the time i'm needing to do things right in front of me so I, this is really going to come in handy you know because most of the time having to go over here um, to get whatever it is i'm doing rather it's you know wrapping something or whatever it is i'm doing when i'm trying to video it at the same time and you know it becomes tough um you know to to not mess up the camera angles or you know whatever if i'm just cooking it's not a big deal but when you start adding the video into things it becomes a lot more tricky so this is really uh gonna make things a little easier and a little nicer for me very nice present it looks sharp too uh nice looking shelf I really appreciate you sticking around to watch the whole video. Check out these other videos over here. You may very well be interested in those also. The inspiration behind the videos is your feedback. And the best way to give me your feedback is to hit the like button down below. Most importantly, hit the subscribe button down below. And you can also leave comments. I can't wait to see you next time.